Saturday afternoon, YouTubies. If you've been following the channel any, you know that I just got done uh, doing a Vixen air horn, train horn upgrade to my big red Dodge. Uh, wife took the truck out to do a horse event, so she's written me a few times and told me that she really loves the horns, so that's good. Um, today I was going to fart around the farm and do chores around here that needed to be done, but if you look over my shoulder, we got some shelf clouds coming in, which means we're getting ready to get socked with a big storm probably within the next hour or two. So I'm really not going to be able to get involved in a whole lot of projects around here. So what I ended up doing was tooling around in my workshop. If you've been following the channel, you know I just finished an LED light cube uh, installation on my motorcycle from Slasher. Uh, just wrap that up. Make sure you click the video if you, if you are bored. But uh, next video I'm going to do is while I was working on it, I got tired of that stock motorcycle horn. So hang on a second and I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you own a motorcycle, you know exactly what they sound like when you hit the horn. <laughs> Which doesn't do crap but scare the mosquitoes. So what I'm going to do next, since we've got a huge storm getting ready to hit us, is I'm going to continue to work in the garage and I'm going to do a horn upgrade. And I think you saw me do this on a video a couple days ago um, when I was doing the Vixen air horn upgrades on the big red truck. Um, I had three of these Wooloo uh, horn tubes with a 12 volt air compressor uh, mounted on the truck. And they were great until two of these fell off and then it sounded like a wounded goose. So, versus this, versus, so this is what I'm going to try to mount somewhere on the bike, and uh, it might not work, might be a complete waste of my time, but what the hell. But what else are you going to do when you can't do farm work because it's getting ready to rain? So, I'll keep you all in the loop. See ya. So, hey guys, um, took a couple minutes and just stuck my hand up underneath the front fairing and anybody who's done a horn replacement on a bike knows how stupidly easy it is it's almost always a 10 millimeter nut that holds a stock air horn in place and in, I, I doubt if this thing will focus or show you properly but a stock air horn is just a little round air horn you can change how it sounds by uh, moving this screw just uh, clockwise or counterclockwise always has a built-in shaft 10 millimeter uh, usually sits kind of like dunk and then you have two power cables coming in um, some bikes are universal some are just grounded uh, this one I believe has a hot and a ground so anyway um, you can see that it's kind of uh, dry rotted it, it's it's had its better days uh, and, and this is almost all horns are like this they're about this size about this shape um, they get wet once or twice and then they do this and and of course you heard what it sounded like on the previous video so uh, I'm gonna rig up the comp uh, temporary Wooloo compressor run me a little bit air ho hose and then I'll do a, uh, a real quick video and you tell me if you like it better listen I just I, I quickly disconnected the stock horn which we did in the previous video quickly disconnected it just pulled it off the side um, grabbed the old air horn compressor out of my truck the Wooloo uh, which I was not happy with um, because I kept losing horns and I kept you know I kept losing the trumpets and whatnot so anyway um, just temporarily rigged it up to the front of the bike it is not pretty it's not mounted I just wanted to see how it would sound and how it looked I, in the previous video I played you a sample sound now what do you think about this well <laughs> it would help if you turned the key on now wouldn't it <laughs> ready I think that's a much better motorcycle horn now don't you so now that I know that it works uh, now that I know that I like the way it sounds now I got to figure out how I want to wire it and where I want to mount it so stay tuned right now I'm gonna take a break looks like the bottom of the sky is getting ready to drop and I need to make sure the fence is closed so I'll see you guys in a minute um, you know I've been killing you with videos the last couple days um, been talking an awful lot. I figure I'd just go ahead and show you what I've done here. Um, 
for those that know, I was working on an air horn system for uh, the truck, got done with it, took the old system off the truck, and I mounted it on the bike. Um, not really happy with where the horn is currently sitting. It is visible. Um, kind of looks, kind of looks tacky. I need a smaller horn. But for the moment, it works, and it does not interfere with the suspension or with the wheel. Uh, so for the moment, it'll function. Um, had to run from the horn relay, had to run backwards uh, because the compressor was so large there was really nowhere to mount it. You can see where I mounted uh, Olin's. I wanted to do the same thing on the other side. Uh, unfortunately, the way the bike is laid out, you can't do that. So I thought about maybe putting it on the rear sets. Uh, tried that, didn't really particularly like it. Don't like zip ties, all that good crap. So I was able to run it, was able to find a mountain bracket for it up underneath the seat. And then, of course, you can see it sitting right here. Uh, it's it's in there good, secure. Uh, got power and everything running back down. And so here is the final say. Watch your ears, Snows. That's a hell of a lot better than that weak-ass Honda horn. So, <laughs> uh, temporarily, till I can find a better horn, maybe a smaller horn, uh, that red one will work. I don't really like it, but it'll work. Uh, finished up the lights. Uh, finished it all up. Got to put it back together. Uh, normally, I don't have to run a trickle charger to it, but I've had the battery on and off so many damn times today that I just didn't want to run the risk of killing the battery. So I've got it on trickle charge for a few minutes. And uh, time to throw the seat on it and maybe take it for a spin and make sure it works. See you guys. Hey, YouTubies. It's Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. I've done all the chores that I said I was going to do inside the garage today. I got the bike taken care of. I got all the chores done around the farm. So now I'm going to run myself out to dinner. And since it's going to probably be nightfall before I get back, I'm going to test these new LED light cubes and maybe do some fine tuning tweaking on them. Um, maybe find me a parking lot somewhere where there's no light and see how they run. So, no further ado, we'll see you all after dinner.
spin this evening like I said on the previous video where I wanted to fine-tune and see see if I had the lights where I want them to be not bad for eyeballing it um, they were only off maybe an inch um, sat down in the parking lot put the bike up on the center stand aimed it down the road a piece looked at where the low beam was sitting looked at where the high beam was sitting and uh, then I kind of configured the LEDs to sit just below the low beam and slightly out to the left and to the right and that's so that when I go into the corner, I turn the wheel and turn the handlebars either direction. The light actually uh, will kind of go with the bar instead of being linear with just the headlight. So anyway, I was farting around with it, was blowing the horn in the previous video, just waving at all the neighbors, making them laugh and whatnot. And then on the way back, I started using the light. And uh, you'll see in the previous video where, you know, one minute it's super dark and it kind of lightens up and then the high beams kick in really freaking cool but then maybe a mile and a half from the house all of a sudden the bottom of the sky dropped out and uh i have no idea how the video turned out I'm hoping it's turned out pretty cool but uh lights were de definitely worth the the upgrade so uh, that's rocking can't wait to put this all together and see how it turned out see you guys <laughs>